welcome dear viewers to the video on hot melt extrusion so this video is basic for hme process and in this video we are going to see the different techniques for solid dispersion or making the amorphous solid dispersion then what are the raw materials used for hot melt extrusion for the pharmaceutical formulations what are the qtpp cma and cpp elements for hme this video is a outline and basic for the hme process and i will try to make more videos with the deep understanding so let's start with the video see hme process uh is used to make the solid dispersions or amorphous solid dispersions different techniques for making the solid dispersions are like spread dry hot melt extrusion co precipitation sometimes uh, other techniques can also be used apart from these three technologies but mainly spread dry and hme are the commercially viable and generally utilized for the pharmaceutical formulations spray drying involved the solvent evaporation from the drug and polymer dispersion and drug and polymer dispersion get dried using the spray dryer and the resulting material is called as solid dispersion hot melt extrusion involves melting and mixing the drug and polymer see here in both the techniques polymer act as a solvent for the drug and as the resultant mixture is solid it is called as solid dispersion like we make the solution so this is sol solid solution co precipitates co precipitation technique involve the use of solvent and anti solvent for controlled precipitation whatever the method we apply for making the solid dispersion we use the api and the polymer the api may be crystalline or it may be amorphous so we mix the api and polymer let's say by using spray dryer hme or by co precipitation and we get the solid dispersion now coming to the hme hme is one of the method for solid dispersion hme involves melting and mixing of the drug and polymer using the hme equipment and this mixing and melting result into the molecular level dispersion in hme drug and polymer both are melted together and understand here in hme the drug is dissolved into the melted polymer and then it undergoes melting and mixing process the melting and mixing is a result of the temperature and mixing process in the hme method of making the solid dispersion or amorphous solid dispersion so hme is a method for making solid dispersion in this hme the input api material may be crystalline or it may be amorphous it is not necessary that always you will have crystalline material and you will convert it into amorphous sometimes amorphous materials are also used for hme HME is used for improving the solubility and bioavailability of the low soluble drugs. The polymer acts as a solvent for the drug. As I have mentioned earlier, the polymer is a solvent for the drug. HME process is applying heat and pressure to melt the polymer and forcing it through the orifice so that the extrudes can be prepared. The equipment for making the hot melt extrude is called as hot melt extruder or simply hme equipment 
the resulting extrudes are milled and processed further to make the formulation that may be tablet or that may be capsule sometimes other type of formulations can be made with the hot melt extrudes so hme extrudes are the intermediate material for further processing you can go for roller compaction you can directly compress it or you can further use it for making the different formulations so this is the hme equipment here drug and polymer material is feed then these screws are rotating and here with the help of mixing and temperature melting happens mixing happens and homogeneous mass is prepared which is discharged through the orifice or die and after cooling and pelletizing it the extrudes are formed this image i have taken from internet and it it was available in the lubrizol literature then coming to the hme process so the hme equipment may be single screw or twin screw the process involves blending of the epa and polymers and other additives then feeding into the hme equipment melting in the barrel with heat so in this barrel will have zones and different zones will have different temperature so that i will cover in the upcoming videos then melting and mixing happens then that melted and mixed material is conveyed along the hme barrel with the heat and finally it is forced through the orifice then you will get the extrudes after cooling the extrudes you will get the hard glassy type of extrudes and these extruders are milled and then the powder is formed that powder is called as solid dispersion or amorphous solid dispersion and that material is a intermediate for further processing hot melt extrusion ingredients are api polymer solubilizer and flow promoters if required so, so the api may be crystalline or amorphous polymer may be hydrophilic or hydrophobic solubilizer surfactant plasticizers can be used and flow promoter like colloidal silicon dioxide can be used i have made a separate video on solid dispersion technology for pharmaceutical formulations you can go through that video on to the pharma learning in depth channel and you will get good idea out of the video then coming to the polymers the ingredients for the hme are api polymer and uh, surfactants or the plasticizers and flow promoters so api may be crystalline or amorphous and generally low soluble apis are converted to solid dispersion by hme for improving their solubility and bioavailability polymers like pvp copolydon sometimes some waxes are used hpmc is the polymer for hme polyethylene glycol polyethylene oxide that is peo then hpc hpmc acetate succinate hpmc phthalate polylactic acid pla PVA polyvinyl alcohol polyglycolide PGA polylactide O glycolide PLGA soluplus eudragid polymers and HPC these are the polymers are used for the HME process many other polymers may be there but some repeatedly used polymers i have enlisted here so the polymer is selected based on to the drug to polymer ratio required processing conditions required and the pre formulation studies these polymers may be hydrophilic or hydrophobic and may be having ph dependent solubility or independent solubility 
then solubilizer surfactant or plasticizers like triacetin saturated ester vitamin e pg succinate that is tpgs then surfactants polyethylene glycols polysorbates like twinity can be used if the api and polymer mixture is not having good flow that time uh, flow promoters can be used like aerosol or colloidal silicon dioxide now coming to the hot melt extrusion qtpp cqas and cmls then we will see the cpps so qtpp means why the hme is done so hme is generally done to improve the solubility and bioavailability so acceptable bioavailability bioequivalence acceptable pharmacokinetic profile is the key requirement then physical and chemical stability cqas involves acid dissolution impurity profile moisture content on water content crystalline content or residual crystallinity so residual crystallinity is the important parameter when you are going to convert the crystalline material into amorphous and that's why you are going to increase its solubility in increase in the solubility will result into dissolution or improved dissolution and in turn it will have good bioavailability or improved bioavailability so cqas mainly are the low degradation because hme involves high temperature that's why low degradation will be the requirement then high solubility will be the requirement and low crystalline content will be the requirement then cmas cmas will be for the apis that is drug substances polymers and the other additives so cmas of apis will be particle size distribution polymorphic form whether the api is amorphous or crystalline its solubility bcs solubility bcs class degradation and melting temperature because this will guide the processing temperature then tg class transition temperature compatibility and solubility in the polymer so if you are selecting the polymer so compatibility should be evaluated then hygroscopicity thermal stability drug load and flow so drug load means the dose and the total weight of the formulation unit that may be tablet or capsule then polymer coming to the polymer it also have some cmas like apis main requirement for the polymer is api and polymer miscibility api and polymer should have good miscibility drug to polymer ratio it is very important to have the good understanding about drug polymer ratio and its effect on to the drug product sequence and cmas and cpps so based on that the drug to polymer ratio is selected polymer quantity will depend on to the solubility of the api into that polymer if api is very low soluble in the polymer that time you will need more polymer to dissolve the drug then flow of the polymer particle size distribution its nature whether it is hydrophilic or hydrophobic degradation and melting temperature of the polymer tg compatibility with the drug melt viscosity melt viscosity of the polymer is very important because it will impact on to the hme process run then polymorphic form whether the polymer is crystalline or amorphous its hygroscopicity and solubility cpps so cpps are mainly machine related and the process parameter related so whenever you are talking about the hme temperature or zone temperature is the key parameter output rate of the extrude material screw speed torque die pressure and other parameters affecting the die pressure feed rate residence time and the input energy these are the very very important process parameters if you increase the residence time of the material in the 
HME equipment, it will have more exposure to the temperature and that's why there will be higher chances of the degradation. And if you decrease the residence time to a very low level, then the melting and mixing will not be proper and your extrude solubility will get decreased. So, residence time is required to be balanced. HME machine related parameters are machine size, screw arrangement or configuration, length to diameter ratio, screw diameter and design, die size, barrel free volume and feeder design and feed rate. So, feed rate is a very important parameter because based on to the feed rate, you have to manage and optimize the parameters. So, this is the information regarding hot melt extrusion. Hot melt extrusion is the method for making the solid dispersion or amorphous solid dispersion and that's why improving the solubility of the poorly soluble APIs. Improvement into the dissolution and increase or improvement in the bioavailability. So, this video is a basic for the HME process and I will make other videos in, up, up in the coming time so that you will have the complete understanding about the HME process. But I hope this video will suffice the requirement of basic understanding about the HME process. Thank you for watching the video and please do like, share and subscribe to Parma Learning In-Depth channel. Thank you.